Hey guys, it's David Campbell with Property Service of Atlanta. I hope you're doing well today. Well, we're sitting in April, April, May. We've got an extension on taxes till May 15th, but I do want to talk to you about taxes because we're all trying to put that stuff together and start getting our tax returns put into the government. Um, I am not a CPA. I'm not giving you CPA advice. I'm giving you a couple of tax tips for you to discuss with your CPA and hopefully some of these tips will help you on your tax returns. First, I want to talk about 1099s. 1099s are strictly, they are issued to you by the property management companies um, and they are only on income. So this will be your rental payments, your late fees, your NSF fees, anything that comes in as an income. If you have a tenant they lost their deposit and it's credited back to your account that is income it's going to be counted as income and placed on your 1099 deductions are not on your 1099 all income counts first and then the deductions are done within your tax return okay so we're clear on that next thing when we have rental properties one of the things that we are able to do is capitalize on depreciating our property so depreciation on a property property is basically on the building itself, the house itself. You can't depreciate land value, but you can depreciate the home value itself for the building. That is done basically, you take that value, you divide it by 27.5 years, and that will come up your depreciating amount per year. So I hope that helps you calculate that out. If you have a mortgage, so the interest that you pay on that mortgage, that is also something you can put on your tax return as a depreciation. So that's kind of a nice little bonus that you get on that. It's kind of funny, even on a, uh, if you went out, let's say you had to go out and buy a, a refrigerator on your property, now obviously you can deduct that, but on the credit card that you purchased it on and you having to pay interest on that appliance for a period of time, you can take that off as well. Talk to your CPA, they'll help you out with those things, but that's a nice thing that uh, remembers because we're trying to offset the income with the expenses so we can kind of you know get our best returns possible um, is insurance premiums tax deductible yes on rental properties they are so make sure that you're talking to your CPA and you're capitalizing on that utilities maintenance expenses now maintenance expenses are a little bit tricky these days because you have to understand what Typical maintenance is like general upkeep of the home, uh, like having the lawn mowed or having the yard cleaned or, or uh, turning the property and having the property cleaned. Those are, you can tax deduct within the same year. But if it is, uh, like say an HVAC system, um, things like that that are longevity basically improves the property, those are depreciated over a period of time. So you need to talk to your CPA on that and they'll help you and give be the full, uh, a, a, a platform on how to deduct those all right one other thing that you can do is your home office you can actually claim a home office in your home if you're doing your property management business within your home and you want to count off your office I will tell you um, yes this is an area that you can work on you really would need to work closely with your CPA um, it is a red flag um, but is it legal absolutely but you need to be on the ups and ups on how you claim that portion of your home in order to capitalize on that on that deduction. All right, that was just a few little tips, but I did want to help you out. And uh, I know it's a fun time to put all this stuff together, but I did want to give you a little bit of help. I hope that's good, and we will talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Thank you.